Hello, I'm ABX Toy Cat, and welcome back to Seed Sunday. Seed Sunday is a weekly series I run on my channel where I show you seeds, Minecraft console, that are particularly interesting and worth checking out in some way. And sometimes it happens on Saturday too, because lots of seeds need to be going out, because T31 did come out and it brought a lot of new biomes, and this seed contains a lot of those new biomes, including the elusive ice spikes biome. It's a very rare biome, this seed's got it, but it also has a bunch of free diamonds and a very glitchy stronghold. Lots of things to like in this seed, and I'd very much appreciate a like on the video if you do like it, because it helps out the channel a lot. And let's move okay with Seed Sunday, sometimes being on a Sass day too. But yeah, let's get straight into the video, shall we? So let's start by talking about what this seed actually is. That's the big first question you should be asking when you hear about Seed. And the seed is Toy Cat Biome 68. I'm like 99% that sure, so it's the seed on screen right now. Just in case it's not, check the description. I'll correct myself if it is wrong. But yeah, that's the seed you want to type in. And if you do type that in, you'll spawn just over here in this uh, forest. And I was very disappointed at first because I was like, oh, it's a forest from before the update next to a swamp. Oh, awesome stuff. But it actually turns out this has a bunch of really cool things in there, including the ice spikes. But let's talk about what's around the spawn first, because if you head a little bit south of the spawn, you'll find one of the new biomes almost instantly. Also, you get a lot of the uh, blue orchid from the swamp. But yeah, if you um, if you head uh, to the south of the spawn, you'll find yourself a roof forest pretty fast. It's a very, very small roof forest, and it seems like roof forests are meant to be really small in uh, the console version. I found 11 roof forests in one seed uh, earlier, and it's just like, okay, that you get a lot of those. So if you like dark oak, then this has got you covered. But just in case you don't, there's also a massive birch forest behind that. And, you know, birch forests, they're not amazing amazingly common, so if you like lots of birch, then this might just be the seed for you. Very bizarre distinction, but it's something you do have. So, uh, if you head along the south of the map, uh, you know, just in case you have headed there first, uh, you'll actually find yourself a third type of tree that is very covered by a biome, and that is the Mega Tiger biome. So this is one of the other cool biomes that came in the update that a lot of people don't focus on, but it actually is cool for a lot of reasons. First of all, it has, you know, two by two spruce trees, which are awesome if you want this specific type of wood, because this is like an entire stack. It's basically jungle trees, but made out of spruce wood. Uh, you also have your coarse dirt, and your, you, you have your pod soul here. Again, two blocks, mostly exclusive to this biome, but you also have boulders along the surface. So, if you've ever wanted to have mossy cobblestone, but you don't want to find a, uh, you know, a, a, a jungle temple dismantle, or you want to find a mob spawner, this has you covered, because you find a bunch of these boulders, which are made out of mossy cobblestone, all over the place. They're really, really cool to see, and there's something very surreal about this biome that I do like quite a bit. So, yeah, if you want to check out Mega Tiger, this is uh, it right here. And one really interesting thing I've, uh, I found about this biome was just over here, where you also can find some iron and some coal, which is always nice. Uh, you see a, uh, you know, boulder, which kind of glitched into the ground, and didn't spawn properly. It's just three blocks of mossy cobblestone on top of some coal. I just thought that was kind of funny how it tried to generate and kind of didn't. I, I always love it when the uh, generator gets kind of glitchy, and you'll see more of that later. But yeah, uh, just before we head to the ice spikes, there's two more biomes which are kind of interlinked. I want to show you because it is really great for those of you who want to get all of the new like kind of blocks because the flower forest contains a lot of blocks you cannot get otherwise, and most of them are flowers. But there is a very very giant flower forest, and it's very very really shaped one because there's a regular forest here that just kind of transitions into a flower forest. Then the flower forest crosses the river, goes all the way around here and just kind of heads to the north and then heads there at the same time. It's very, very bizarrely shaped, like I mentioned, but you also have a Sunflower plain. So Sunflower plains might be a better version of, uh, you know, a plains to you because although you get more tall grass, uh, you also get Sunflowers. Again, an exclusive block you can only find here. There is no way to get them besides from this biome. So if you're, you know, if you're unlucky enough not to have a Sunflower plains, then, you know, that sucks. But if you do have yourself a Sunflower plains, you have an exclusive block which comes in the form of this. So it's kind of like ice spikes except packed ice is a little bit cooler than Sunflowers but still, there's a Sunflower plains just over here these coordinates, and it's worth checking out, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, let's um, head further to the west, and uh, you'll actually find the, 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 you know, the main attraction for a lot of people, the Ice Spikes biome. So, the Ice Spikes biome is a great little biome. This one's a kind of medium-sized one. I've seen some really small ones. On the console, uh, you know, if you have the classic world size, or you're on 360 PS3, it seems like they miniaturized a lot of the biomes. It's like there's a small biome setting, always on. Because, uh, you know, this is actually a medium, almost large-sized biome. Like, there's actually like, you know, 11 spikes, or something like that, and that's actually uh, quite a few. So, the really cool thing about this biome is not just the fact that it looks awesome. Like, look at these things. It's just, <laughs> you know, crazy spikes in the ground. But the, the second awesome thing is you can get packed ice. The only way to get packed ice is from these biomes. And that means, you know, with this biome, you have access to five or six stacks or maybe even more, depending on how well you break it, which is pretty good if you ask me. So, yeah, this is the ice spikes biome. Definitely worth checking out. I mean, I'm sure I don't need to tell you twice. And that's what's going on here. So that's, uh, you know, pretty good as far as the exclusive biomes go. There's a lot of duplicates of the roof forest, like I mentioned. Like, even this seed has, like, several of them. But this seed is also great for a lot of other reasons. And what are those other reasons? So, first of all, you, you might have noticed, from the Ice Spikes biome, this is a, a cool little thing I really like, you can actually see a village within, like, you know, 100 blocks from here. It's pretty close, like, it's just over there from here. And uh, I really, really do like this, because it means you can head straight from your, you know, roof, roof forest directly over to uh, this place over here. So, uh, yeah, the, this village is pretty small, as far as villages go. But fortunately enough, it does generate with a blacksmith chest. And uh, you might be able to guess what's coming here. But it is a really good blacksmith chest, because inside, it's got... 
two iron swords. That's great for a co-op world. It's got two bits of iron. It's got some apples. And oh, oh, yeah, there's there's diamonds too. Three of them, in fact, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, three diamonds is enough to make a diamond pickaxe if you want, or you can make a sword and a shovel. I definitely recommend sure and sword and shovel. But yeah, uh, three diamonds. That's just a nice little free thing to get. Uh, given that you're, you know, you're here for the ice spikes anyway, might as well go collect your free diamonds. It's your uh, free diamond bonus for finding the ice spikes, I think. So yeah, that's what's also over here. But uh, in case you know, just the village isn't cool enough. One thing I really liked is I decided to check out the stronghold on this seed. So, um, oh, because they, you know, fix the extra glitch, it's harder to find, you know, a lot of the cool stuff on the ground. But I figured I'd check out the stronghold and see what's going on. And this seed did not disappoint me. So. This is one of those strongholds that's kind of glitched in a mine shaft, so let's actually drink the night vision potion, make our life easier. But yeah, this um this seed is actually one that has the stronghold inside a mine shaft, which is pretty uh, you know interesting. If you haven't seen this before, it is reasonably rare, but it's it's kind of nice. I've shown it off before, but yeah, this one's great because of the fact that first of all you have uh, you know your chest just exposed like this, but second of all that means you actually have emeralds because this is an extreme host biome inside your stronghold, so you can be like you know I'm kind of bored of this, let's go get the emeralds, and uh, yeah, that's kind of nice in my opinion. But like I mentioned, there are a couple of chests around here. The first one, I saw it a second ago and now I can't find it again, it's just over here, and inside this chest you're going to get yourself two apples, a great, great little reward, right, totally worth coming here for, but the more realistic one you're going to want to go for is down these stairs right here, so if you head to these corners, which is where I don't know if I recommend digging down here. I'd probably recommend digging down at this point if you're going to dig straight down. Uh, but yeah, if you head to these corners just over here, and then you head down the staircase, and then you head over to here, you'll actually find a chest over here with just two apples again, and then two diamonds to make up for the troll from the previous chest. So that's pretty cool. Um, this stronghold is a pretty fun one because it keeps crossing over the ravine. Like, you know, you can't go too far without crossing over this. And uh, I think that's really interesting, especially when you get stuff like this that's just kind of floating there. I think this is uh, a very, very interesting stronghold. And if you, you know, agree, then you can check it out. And even if you don't agree, this seed has three diamonds from the blacksmith chest alone, it has a bunch of cool new biomes, and hopefully it, uh, you know, has what you are looking for. So, uh, before we end the video, I want to talk a little bit about seeds that I'm going to be trying to find and stuff like that, because a lot of people have been asking for lots of different things. I want to just clarify, first of all, I have changed the Seed Sunday playlist. So if you want to, you know, uh, like, because uh, all the seeds after this update are entirely different to the ones before, I have a brand new Seed Sunday playlist. So I recommend checking that out, because if you're watching this more than the day after it goes live, that whatever seed you're looking for is probably already made. But uh, if you're not watching this, if you're watching this on the time it comes out, hey there guys, welcome, but um, <laughs> the, on all seriousness, if you're watching this as it comes out, the seeds I'm currently looking for are stuff like a giant mesa biome, because all the mesas I've found have been tiny so far, like, you know, it seems to be a reasonably rare biome, then when you do find it, they all seem to be small, and that's disappointing, so I saw that just stick up as we do this, um, so the, the other things I'm looking for is as many biomes as I can find on one seed. If you notice, this one has, uh, what was it, like five of the new biomes, which is good, you know, like five out of like ten or so, but I want to find as many as I can on the same seed. I think it might be impossible because of the way the temperature system works, but it's something I've been looking for. I've checked about 50 seeds right now, and I've noticed a lot of bizarre trends, you know, like how roof forests are just everywhere, how these, uh, you know, regular tigers are everywhere, and I think, you know, the seeds are so different on console that it's going to be really tricky to find a lot of this stuff, but I'm going to keep on looking, and because I want to, you know, be the best source of Minecraft consoles seeds for all of you guys, I'm, uh, you know, gonna give it my all. So, if you, uh, you know, do find anything, then that'd be great. Uh, like I said, uh, if you want to check, you know, try and put, like, Toy Cat IVX in there, because that's how I, you know, do this whole thing. But if you want to just send me a cool seed anyway, let me know. Uh, send me a tweet or something like that, and I'll try and check out the seed. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you did enjoy this video, um, and uh, like the video if you did like it, share if you really liked it, subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this every single day on my channel, including a seed Sunday, every Sunday, including tomorrow, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a nice day, everyone. And goodbye.